Okay, we're still at the Eco Hotel at the FFDQ OTC in Nigeria, the Capital Market Workshop, and um, I'm here, I'm joined by um, the uh, chairman of DLM, uh, Sonia Ayer, and we're going to be talking about um, issues concerning uh, the bond capital market and also issues around mortgages. Welcome uh, to the panel. Welcome, um, thank you. I mean, uh, we're, we're looking at the fact that mortgages uh, in Nigeria, mortgage to GDP is less than 1%. Correct. I mean, does that anger you in any way? It does, to a certain extent. Um, but, you know, you have to look at the reasons behind it. And the reasons are multifaceted. I mean, there are just so many reasons. And what we've, what we've, I mean, I've been working in this market now for about you know, 10 years or so. And we're beginning to sort of, you know, edge at it, you know, break it little by little. So if you look at the, the problems of foreclosure, in other words, I lend you money, um, you don't pay me, I want to get the asset back, you know, and years ago that was virtually impossible because all you do is go to court mm -hmm. and put me in court for 10, 15 years. Now we're changing the law, you know, saying for instance, when you want to do that, you know, you have to actually deposit the unpaid balance, right, into an interest-bearing account with the Registrar of Court, you know. Um, we've even gone further than that, you know, to say, to look at all the, you know, different issues that anyone can actually, in other words, any loophole that exists, we're trying to close it now, you know. We've created the, the Nigeria Mortgage Refinance Company, um, you know, which has been run by a very capable team. Uh, led by Professor Charles Yangete, you know, and um, that company now is there to provide long-term financing. We're also working also with them um, and the mortgage bankers to provide a short-term, you know, uh, financing so that mortgage banks can have access to short-term monies from the money markets to be able to originate their mortgages. You know, um, there's so many things, you know, that we're, we're, we're doing to make sure that, you know, the, 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 the mortgage loans to GDP ratio can begin to ah, start looking normal. I, I, I mm -hmm. think I was listening to the panel and I heard mm -hmm. a lot about the title and, yeah. and titles. And yeah. why, why don't we, why haven't we been able to come around getting a proper registry to be able to keep a, a, a account <coughs> who owns what and for how, how yeah. long they own it? I mean, you know, look, different states are at different levels when it comes to this. Um, I, I know that from my experience of, of of uh, setting up NMRC at the time. Um, you know, there are some states that have gone very far and there are some states that have just done nothing. The truth of the matter is, it's all down to land registry. Um, some states have gone as far as, you know, digitalizing their land registry. Lagos State being one of them. You know, Nasara are working on it. You know, it's as diverse as that. Um, you know, uh, that's one. But the, 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 the true issue is that, you know, like the, the point uh, Mr. Ogunero from UPDC uh, alluded to, which is where, you know, there is, I won't call it a defect in title, but where you have a third party claim to a title. Sure. You know, that's something that we obviously need to resolve. Um, with respect to the time it takes for title to transfer from A to B, you know, we have something now that can at least address that, that you know, with, it, with some sort of insurance, you know, which again is innovative and, you know, um, uh, particular to our own environment. So, you know, the other thing is you have to look at solutions to your own problems. You know, it's like one of the issues that was mentioned by my colleague, Mr. Chino Azubike, you know, which is, look, you know, yes, in reality, a mortgage, if I lend you money to buy a house, under normal circumstances, the name as the owner of that house should be you. True. All right? And I should only take uh, a lien right on, on, the, on the asset yeah. okay but in the event where you have a system that does not allow you to foreclose it does make sense actually that if I'm lending you money well I put it in my name it's for you you own it but I hold it so if you don't pay me I can easily foreclose exactly. right now is it the best is not should we do it as transitionary yes I think we should because the point is the whole idea of home ownership is to create wealth that's what it's there for you know, you bought a house, you know, you put in, you're buying a house for, let's say, 20 million. I'm just giving an example. You're putting 10% down or 4%, you know, for, for, let's say 20%, 4 million, right? 4 million, you put it down. In five years' time, the house is worth 50, right? Yes, you paid some interest, you paid some principal. But you know what? With a 4 million naira, you're now sitting on a 20 million naira profit, 
okay? You sell that, you buy the next property. You sell that, you buy the next property. You know, and let's say you started at the time you were 26 or 27. By the time you're 50, you own a, a, a very decent asset with not just asset, but you have huge chunk of the equity. True. That's, it's all about wealth creation. True. That's what we're trying to do. Anyway, uh, five years from now, mm -hmm. what do you think will be? I mean, we, we, we've, we, uh, we've held robust discussions at this mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, uh, workshop, and I mean, the, the capital market is looking to come in in some way. Yeah. What do you think will be in five years? Honestly, I think that if we have, a, let me say, a, an accommodating interest rate environment, um, I think that loans, mortgage loans to GDP should be somewhere about 2%, 2 3%, and, you know, on the rise. I think we'll get yeah. to talk again then. Hopefully. Thank you very much Thank for you. being with us. We appreciate Cheers. that. All right, bro. So, um, yes, we'll be continuing the discussion. Do not uh, go anywhere. Just stay with us.